Well, this week's trade was dominated by a surprising show of strength in five firms that owe their survival to government intervention. In today's session, trading in these stocks totaled almost 40% of the big board's listed volume. The renewed interest in mortgage giants Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac fueling a month-long rally. Check out this chart. Fannie Mae is up 251% in the last month. And look at Freddie Mac. It's up 286%. These stocks were in big trouble. Now they're soaring. Banking giants Citigroup and Bank of America both in hawk to the government for over $40 billion. Today, both active, both higher, extending a month of gains. It has Citi up 75% and Bank of America on a run as well in the last month up 35%. But really, the standout, it's been AIG. 80% owned by the government. Some cite a short squeeze for this rally, but it's a rally that squeezed 277%, a 277% gain in the last 30 days out of a stock that was struck from the Dow 30 last fall. Let's bring in our bull and bear to talk about the rise of these stocks that have been left for dead. Peter Schiff, who is president of Euro Pacific, he's mostly a bear with some bullish tendencies. And James Altucher of StockPicker.com, he's generally a bull. James, it's great to see a familiar face. Great so I'm going to gonna you, start Mike. with Peter. Um, I'm going to start with you because when you see this kind of activity in stocks that some had left for dead last fall, what does it tell you about a state of a rally that has the Dow up 45 percent from its March lows? Well, it's an old saying about suckers being born every minute. <laughs> You know, a lot of these stocks, the financials in particular, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're gambling. Uh, you know, you, you could trade them, but they're not viable investments. I mean, the financials are a great place to work, but they're a lousy place to invest. I mean, I'd sooner buy an airline. And the last thing you want to do is get in bed with the government. But there were a lot of stocks around the world uh, that, you know, they, when they, they threw a lot of babies out with the bathwater. There's a lot of stocks that have risen dramatically uh, because they got too cheap. Uh, in 2008. But, but that's not the case. Many of these stocks are actually going to end up going bankrupt uh, by the time we're all said and done. In fact, many of the companies, the only reason they're not bankrupt now is because the government keeps propping them up. Okay, uh, James, I, I, I want, sorry to interrupt you there, but James, I want to get your take on this. Is there any reason to be bullish on any of these five stocks? Well, you know, it's funny. I'm actually bullish in general on the financials, but these five stocks, no. I think there's AIG, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. These stocks in particular might very well be worth zero. I mean, the government owns 80% of them. They were heavily shorted. I hate to be a conspiracy the, theorist, but I do off. happen to think that the, the picture. government is probably uh, d taking advantage of this to short squeeze all the short sellers. They're you actually think manipulating the government the stocks is behind up. this short squeeze? Yeah, I do think this is a short squeeze that the government is now manipulating upwards. They're Why are doing they the doing squeeze. That? Excuse me? Why are they doing that? Yeah. Well, you know, they're protecting their investment to some extent, and also it's good for them if their bailouts are working. And the way, huh. the, the hum the way people think the bailouts are working is if the stock market goes up, if these stocks go yeah. up. Well, I doubt they're smart enough to actually deliberately manipulate it, but certainly... They're pretty smart, the, though. The, the low interest rates, the fact that interest rates are zero and they're flooding the market with cash, I mean, that's the manipulation because people have plenty of money to gamble with, and that's what they're doing. But a lot of people say that's one of the reasons we're seeing this big activity in it. You know, Peter, I want to talk about the economy because a lot of people say one of the reasons these stocks are getting better is the economy is improving. Investors are becoming less risk averse, and one of the reasons we're seeing them piling into these five stocks is because they are so. So no, you I mean, say this recession that some people say we're coming out of is only over because it's turning into a depression. What do you see that the markets don't? Well, look, the markets get a lot of things wrong. They, the markets didn't even see this recession coming. The Dow was making new highs two months before it began. But, you know, whenever stocks go up, people look for a way to justify it. So the market's going up, and people are trying to justify it rationally uh, based on an improving economy. The fact of the matter is stocks are rising even though the economy is not getting better. We're in worse shape than we were six months ago. Everything the government has done to solve the problem has made it worse. Uh, we get a temporary boost, but we're going to pay for this. Meanwhile, I don't think people are buying stocks because, uh, you know, it's like the all clear. I think they're, they're still risk adverse, but they're understanding the risk in currency. They're understanding the risk of holding the U.S. dollar and U.S. treasuries uh, when we're, we're printing all this money. And so people are trying to get rid of those risky assets, meaning U.S. dollars, and buy something else, James, something what safer. Think, what do you think about Peter's take on this? Well, I mean, you look at the data and you look at even Intel and Dell's news. The economy is coming back. It's at least stabilizing. The consumer is starting to buy computers again. They're going to buy computers even more so in October when the next version of Windows comes out. I do think the, the economy is stabilizing and the stimulus is going to come in in 2010, but, which remember, could lead to a, a boom in the market. Like, that's I not the economy stabilizing. That's us trying to reflate the bubble. We don't want well, consumer okay, spending right not. now. 
We're on the oh, right side of a bubble no, now. No. Let's let's take advantage no, of it by no, buying stocks. No, that's that's not the right side. We need consumers saving their money. We don't want them to buy anything right now. Well, They've we need over to make shot. money. That's what we're focused on is how do we make it? If we're on the, this side of a bubble, let's buy stocks. All well, right, look, gentlemen, but, we're going to leave it right there. Thank you for joining us. Both of you are going to be back later in the show, but right now we are going to go to Senator John McCain. He is addressing a crowd at the memorial for